I was about four years old when my parents first got the store, so I've been here all my life. I decided to take it over about two years ago when my father retired. I wanted to stay within our family. You know, to be young, gifted, and black is, is really, uh, we're living in very critical times, uh, hard to deal with politically, socially, financially. So it is a hardship to try and keep a small business going. They've seen so many people leave, they don't want to be next, you know? People want to stay here in this community and want to see it thrive and see our people thrive in our community. As far as the central area, just to have someone that, that, that's black and owns property is so good because it shows the young people and the people in the community, I can do it. I can make this is happening and it's not just a dream, it's something that I can do. We've been giving out produce, I'll say we've done it about five times so far. I was working with a black owned farm called Nurture Roots Farms. We would just come out here and pass out produce to the community for free. Um, eventually I would like to sell produce into my store. I want people to come in here and feel welcome, feel happy, feel excited to, to come to Sandy's store, you know? I want you to come in here and know that you're gonna have a, a, a great conversation. Not even to buy an item, you know? You might buy the smallest thing. That community feel, that's what I want. That love and family feel. Yeah, you talk about a vision. He's probably thinking that I'll have some heat next week. <laughs>